Hello everyone and welcome back! With every passing day it's getting warmer and sunnier. And I've been spending a lot of time outside, sketching, daydreaming and making up stories in my head. And this last scene has been my favorite lately. There are so many stories around us, in every bird's cry and melodic rustle of the grass. I love collecting those fables and retell them with delicate brush strokes and vibrant colors. There is always a story behind every painting, and today I would like to share one of them with you. There once was a fairy, also not many knew her for being one of the fair folk, for she glamoured away her wings and was living a perfectly ordinary human life in a perfectly ordinary human house. And if the prying eyes peeked through the misty windows of her little cottage, they wouldn't notice anything off just a boringly normal kitchen smelling of the freshly baked pie. Little did they know, as all the kitchen cabinets were filled with bottles and pitchers and decanters filled with fairy dust. She used the fairy dust in cooking and while making her delicious herbal infusions and tea blends. And when her guests would take a sip of her magic-induced tea or make a bite of her pastry, they would feel what they need the most at the moment – hope, faith, courage. Although those who were curious and attentive enough could pick on the details of the girl's life that would look odd and unusual. First, she liked talking to the trees, telling them all about her day and listening excitedly to the news they were more than eager to share. Like the stories of a cute little fawn born just two nights ago, or the mouse who avoided the claws of the cunning owl, or caterpillars who started their ascent to the trees to get themselves cocooned in silk and be reborn into beautiful butterflies. Second, she liked singing with the birds. Or they were singing with her? Or maybe it was just the way how they communicated with one another. Also, she was caressing every flower and tree she was passing by, if they could actually feel and enjoy her tender touch. And in response, the flowers were blooming vividly, and trees were growing new leaves.
She was also really good with herbs and flowers, always finding a new way how to use them, making salves and herbal infusions and different concoctions. So yes, if the humans have been attentive enough, they would definitely notice a few odds about the girl. But they were not attentive, too preoccupied with their human lives. So our fairy continued living in the open, hiding in the plain sight. Only the birds and animals knew her for who she really was, for they could see through the glamour, and they were frequently coming to her doors to ask for help or a piece of advice. And sometimes they stayed till the nightfall and watched as the fairy was finally putting off the pretense and was dancing in the moonlight, with her face turned skyward, letting the stars gently kiss her brow. And that's where I say no more, but let the story wordlessly spread to the pages of my sketchbook. Thank you for spending this time with me and for all the love and support you are giving to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I will leave a link to my shop in the description below. I'm wishing you a lovely day. Goodbye.